hello guys welcome back to the channel and in today's video i'm going to be giving you guys five reasons why you should consider buying the well five reasons why you should own the 2023 kia sportage lx hybrid um i am going to get into the video before i get into the video i want you guys to uh check the comment log down below i do have a pov drive of the lx hybrid itself and then i also have a pov drive of the lx hybrid ex so just so you guys don't miss out but i'm gonna make i'm not gonna make this video go too long for you guys so let's get right into the video okay so number one reason on why you should own a 2023 kia sportage lx hybrid is take a look at the new redesign i love how kia redesigned these sportages they don't look nothing compared to the 2022 previous model uh year sportage they have a more aerodynamic sportier look and I think that's why it gives it the name. It's just the sportier sport version of the Sportage. So it gives it more of a sportier look. And this look is something that is perfect. You know, Kia has came a long way with uh, the looks and I give them a 10 out of a 10 on the new look of the Sportage. As you guys can see, that is a beautiful look. So that's your first reason why you should own this vehicle. Your second reason why you should own this vehicle, let's take a look at this. So on this 2023 Kia Sportage Hybrid LX, it has a miles per gallon of 38 miles per gallon city and 30 miles per gallon highway, which is a combined 30 all together. There are many, many vehicles on the road that doesn't even have or get near to that many miles per gallon. And that is with your all wheel drive, which is something that you guys know, all wheel drive train makes the vehicle a lot more heavier. And that is with uh, 235, 65, uh, 17 inch wheels on a vehicle itself. But to get 38 miles per gallon in this particular SUV is perfect you know because think about it if you have a if you have a 30 mile commute back and forth to work each day you have eight miles per gallon left over which is three miles per gallon um another thing that i want to tell you guys is the third reason on why you this vehicle and it's something that i really love because on the previous year versus this year they did change it up a lot um it's the back space back cargo area i think you have probably like uh i say like a, a hand width of more space so in the previous year models i think the space stopped about right there and now it gives you a lot more trunk space in it like i can literally just sit in the back with my head up now then i go to spare tire and jack but as you guys can see i'm literally sitting in the back I can literally put my arm forward with the seat, you know, obviously set up a little bit. But I can literally put my arm links. And I literally have about right here. And as you guys see, if I was in the previous year, I think it's about like right there, it'd be a little bit tight. So you can literally fit two people in the back of here. I don't say to do it, but that's something that you guys should consider as well. That extra room, especially if you plan on taking any long trips, if you plan on uh, traveling, very far and you got a lot of luggages and everything you might want to consider that we're looking at the 2022 versus the 2023 model um is that you have a lot more cargo room in the vehicle itself so there goes that let me get you the other side so check that out that is a if you guys have any big animals as like uh any dogs as a german shepherd bull mastiff um doberman pincher uh, St. Bernard or Napoleon Mastiff, any large dogs, if you get a full mat, you can actually lay it completely flat and they can literally just sit right in, especially if you guys are planning on going to any like uh, the vet office or if you want to take the puppies out. There's a lot of room for big dog. And I think, yep, climb right in, close the trunk, lay a cover down and they'll be perfect. So that's your third reason on why is the cargo area. Your fourth one reason why is the thing that I care about the most when I purchase a vehicle is the warranty. You have a 10 year, 100,000 mile powertrain warranty. So that covers all of your engine, transmission, all your components that help drive the vehicle, which is pretty insane to think about that I have a warranty on my vehicle for the next 10 years. Like that's a long time. 
and uh let's, let's get this up up and open for you guys so there goes your engine and there goes your battery which looks fantastic to have an orange cable under the hood of a car let's give it a crank because it's really quiet as well and the car's already on That's the only noise you would hear besides the regenerative braking when the car is recycling the braking and whatnot. Uh, this is about the max noise that you would hear uh, other than driving it and listening. That is really quiet. That's really quiet. All right, guys. So. I know I didn't give you guys four reasons why I'm showing this car. Number one is the looks. Number two is the size, which is, has a lot of room. Actually, let's go back to size. I can show you guys how they fit in the vehicle as well. So we're back here in size. And as you guys can see, I have enough of leg room that I can swing my legs. I do have cup holders in the middle. Yeah there my seat can recline a little bit further back so if i wanted to sit back all the way then i'm fully back and i have a lot of room you know i'm pretty comfortable um could be another passenger this vehicle is ready for five passengers i wouldn't say three of me could fit back here but not comfortably comfortably but i could still fit back here um we still have a lot of leg room which is pretty good Let's go see how to be if I sit in the front. So now that matters as well. So I'm gonna leave the seat how I am comfortable in the back. We're sitting in the front and boom, I do have enough space. Which is, that's probably like a hand, hand with more space. So if you're tall, do have more room. Um, so there goes your four reasons. Looks, size, warranty, and miles per gallon. Your fourth reason is this. So if you guys don't feel like paying an additional couple grand just to upgrade um, for navigation, you have this. This vehicle is equipped with wireless Apple CarPlay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click my Bluetooth and then phone projection. Where is it at? Device connection. Projection at new, and then gonna keep it clear here. I'm not gonna let my contact sink in, but you can. That's if you want to have the uh, the contact synced into the vehicle. So, boom. So, this vehicle, ooh, let's turn that down. So this vehicle is equipped with wireless CarPlay. So what that means is you don't have to buy navigation in this vehicle as long as you have an updated uh, cellular device. You can literally scan through, let's search, and you can talk. Where would you like to go? McDonald's. McDonald's. I don't know where you are. You can fix that in settings once you're not driving. Go to privacy settings, select location <laughs> services, scroll to Siri and dictation. And so let's, let's search gas stations at least. So let's say I want to go to sheets. Literally click sheets. Boom. So you get that feature and you get to use your phone. So now when calls come through, I don't have to answer it from my phone. I can literally come on the radio and answer it. And another cool thing is you have heated seats with the LX model for the 2023 hybrid. So that is five reasons on why you guys should own this vehicle. You got wireless CarPlay. You have a lot more space. I'm driving an all wheel drive vehicle and getting 38 miles per gallon. And the good thing about it is I have warranty on it for the next 10 years. So I don't have to worry about anything on the vehicle. And last but not least is the looks of this new 2023 redesigned Sportage. So guys, again, check the comment down below. You can uh, go see the POV drive of this vehicle and I will catch you guys in the next vehicle video. Please take care and talk to you guys soon.